Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics, let's calculate some of the genre polynomials. Here's our recursion relation from an earlier section. And the genre polynomials are defined so that the uh, value when x is equal to 1, the polynomial is equal to 1. Now, a sub 0 and a sub 1 can be thought of as two constants of integration. When you have a second order differential equation, you're basically doing two integrals to solve, which we solved here via a power series. But when you solve via an integral, you get constants of integration. Think of mechanics, f equals ma. Acceleration is the second derivative of x with respect to time. You do one derivative uh, here on x, you get velocity. You do a second derivative, you get acceleration. So if you go backwards and integrate, the acceleration, uh, the dv dt, you get some velocity function, but then there's plus a constant, initial velocity. When you integrate the velocity function, you get uh, some x function of t plus an initial position. So x naught and v naught, initial position, initial velocity, come from the integration of the second order differential equation. Well, here I have a naught and a1 as my constants of integration. And what's a very important, much importance here is that we must have a series terminate. Now a series will terminate on its own for say even or odds but not for the opposite. For example if L is equal to 6 when K grows up to be 6 we'll get self-destruction here and that means the uh, next term in the even term is 0 and the next and the next but the odds will not cancel unless you force them to be zero by picking a1 to be zero. So that's what we will do. We'll alternately pick one of these to be zero and let the other uh, terminate itself by the self-destruction method. You're going to see this in operation here. We're going to go here to find the zeroth Legendre polynomial by picking L to be zero and therefore we'll simply have k times k plus one up here and we'll force a1 to be zero because we're dealing with an even L. So even L's will self-destruct on their own, but the odds must be chosen so that they don't interfere with our finite polynomial. So let's do it. Uh, we come in here. It's very, very easy to do this one since when k equals 0, that's k equal to l, you're going to get 0. In other words, 0 minus 0 is 0, and there is no a2. So the solution is simply a sub 0, and using the convention that when x is equal to 1, you must get 1. The constant must be 1. That's our zeroth Legendre polynomial. We go on here to find the first Legendre polynomial, and we do that by letting L equal to be 1. So we have then 1 times 2 is then 2 with the minus sign. And here, since k, when it equals 1, will be equal to L then, and you'll have the self-destruction, the series will terminate, the odd ones will terminate on its own. I must force the even one to terminate so I don't get any problems with the even one. So we do that, and we solve for the next coefficient here, and that would be a sub 3 by letting a sub k, the k be 1, so we have a sub 1, go for a sub 3, k is 1, so here, you know, k is equal to L, when k equal to L is equal to L, you get 0, but let's go ahead and see it, 1 times the 2 is 2, yes, 2 t minus 2 is, is 0, and sure enough, a sub 3 is 0, and then when you look for a sub 5, uh, in terms of a sub 3, well, since a sub 3 is 0, a sub 5 is 0, and then if you look for a sub 7 in terms of a sub 5, well, since a sub 5 is 0, a sub 7 is 0, so we're finished, the polynomial is simply a sub 1 times its power of x. So when you pl plug in x equal to 1, you then find that here a sub 1 has to be 1, and that's the first Legendre polynomial. We go on here with the second Legendre polynomial, l equal to 2, so we have l equal to 2, so you have 2 times quantity 2 plus 1, which is then 2 times 3, which is 6, with the minus sign here. And since the l is even when k grows up to be 2 it'll self-destruct and the even series will terminate on its own we need to make sure the odd series terminates or, or never gets started so because it's not going to terminate on its own it never gets started so we set a sub 1 to be 0 which means a sub 3 will be 0 a sub 5 will be 0 via the recursion relation so uh, we are ready to go to find a sub 2, and we do that by setting k equal to 0. And when k is equal to 0, we have here 0 minus 
and this is the minus 6. So k is equal to 0, you simply have the minus 6, and k is equal to 0, we have the 1 times 2. So we have minus 3 a sub naught, and for a sub 4, we let k equal to 2, and when k equals 2, well, wait a minute, k is equal to l, self-destruct, so it's going to be 6 minus 6, you're going to get 0. You already know that when k is equal to 2, you don't even have to do this because k will be equal to l. It'll be 0. There's no a sub 4, there's no a sub 6, there's no a sub 8, and so on, so we're finished. And the second Legendre polynomial then is a sub 0 plus a sub 2x squared. a sub 2 uh, here we have figured out up here is equal to minus 3 a naught. So when you plug it in down here, you can factor out the a naught and have a naught times 1 minus 3x squared. And when you use the definition that x equals 1 must give you a value of 1 for the polynomial, then x equal to 1 gives 1 minus 3 here is a minus 2 a naught has to be 1, so a naught has to be minus 1 half. And then when you plug in the minus 1 half for the a naught, you have your Legendre polynomial, which we're going to bring the minus sign in so we can write it in this neat fashion. The second Legendre polynomial, 1 half times the quantity 3x squared minus 1. We move on to find the third Legendre polynomial, and here we pick L to be 3. So we have 3 times 4 is 12 for the minus sign. And since uh, k will grow up to be 3, which would be an odd uh, integer, it'll terminate on its own. We must force the even series to be 0 by making the first, the 0th you know, one, be 0, so it never gets started, it never gets off the ground. So a sub 0 here uh, is 0, so that means a sub 2 will be 0, and then a sub 4 will be 0, and a sub 5 will be 0. So that's already taken care of, and let's see what happens with the odd powers here. So for the odd powers, uh, we pick uh, k to be 1 to find a sub 3. So k is 1, and we have 1 times 2, and here we have 2 times 3. So 2 times 3, and 2 minus 12, minus 10 over 6, which reduces to minus 5 thirds, a 1, a 3 is minus 5 thirds, a 1, and for a sub 5, we set k equal to 3 to get the fifth one, but when we do that, k is 3, it's grown up, so that means self-destruction, uh, you can see here 3 times 4 would be 12, 12 minus 12, you don't even have to do this, you already can see it, we're finished, and we can write the Legendre polynomial down here as a1x plus a3x cubed, a1x minus 5 thirds a1 x cubed with the substitution, pull out the a1 and give the condition that x equals 1 must give a polynomial equal to 1 when you work it out. Let's do it. a sub 1 here times 1 minus 5 thirds is equal to minus 2 thirds. a1 has to be 1. a1 has to be minus 3 halves. So that means the third Legendre polynomial has to be minus 3 halves, that's the a1, times whatever we have here, x times, it would be x minus 5 thirds x cubed. And here, what we'll do is uh, write the x cubed one first. So we'll take the minus 3 halves, move it in, so the minus 3 halves, we'll hit that x there, and when the minus 3 halves hits the minus 5 thirds, the 3's cancel, you get a plus 5 halves. So there's your plus 5 halves. I pull the 1 half out. This is 5 halves x cubed minus 3 halves x. Nice, nice form there for the third Legendre polynomial. And as practice, why don't you figure out the fourth and fifth Legendre polynomials?